Darren, thank you so much for coming today and being part thank of our you. experience hall. Yeah, so uh, I, I know that uh, you're, you're one of my favorites, and, uh, and I think your um, zombie apocalypse survival kits were made you a favor of the crowd too. But tell us a little bit about what Map of the Dead is doing. Yeah, so people. Map of the Dead is a location-based zombie apocalypse survival game. I know it's a mouthful, but um, what we're really looking to do is trying to gamify uh, a really familiar process. So, you know, people are generally familiar with Foursquare, um, but we're trying to kind of integrate um, more of a, a, a role-playing, turn-based game. Mm -hmm. And we think that the combination of, you know, this zombie meme, right, um, the graphic novel illustration style, and the actual real-world locations are kind of the makeup for success. So how does that work uh, you, in terms of actually going to the location? What are you doing when you, when you go there? Sure. So when you, when you are looking at the app, um, mm -hmm. you're looking at a map of your neighborhood. Um, there are locations that are nearby. And you tap a location to check in as you normally would on Foursquare. But instead of just immediately being brought into that location, you're presented with a number of zombies based on the risk level of the actual location. Mm -hmm. So one to 39 zombies might be trying to prevent you from actually entering the location. Um, as, as you kind of progress through the game, you're collecting like stronger weapons or um, purchasing them through in-app purchases in the requisitions. Um, you can defeat larger hordes of zombies so that you can actually check into the space. And once you check into that location, we've got items that are tailored to each location. So for instance, if you checked into a Starbucks, there might be coffee, which might boost your health five points in the event you were attacked. So that's, that's great. Right. So it's a great platform for you to kind of organically put in uh, brands out there who want to reach the, the people who are having fun playing your game. Right, yeah, engagement is really high yeah. for us, um, at least in the early days, and, and we're, we're really trying to find that sweet spot for brands to be able to integrate. So we've had some really great conversations with brand managers here, mm -hmm. and I think that'll kind of proceed to next stage conversations. Great, so tell us, you are part of our experience hall today with a, a bunch of other startups. Tell us a little bit about what it's like to be part of that. Um, what do you think about the other people who are part of the experience hall too? Yeah, I think everyone everyone that, that had an opportunity to be here in the experience hall, um, they've got great technology and they, they've been around for a while and they've, they've had an opportunity to kind of test things out and you know generate maybe customers and, and tweak their products. Um, I know Spark Real, I know those guys. I'm really, um, I'm, I'm really impressed with the augmented reality stuff that I saw. Um, so generally I think the quality of, of the experience hall is really high. Well, great. Well, thanks again for coming. Thank and you. And hopefully we'll see you guys again. All right. Excellent. Thank okay. you.